She signed up real cash. <laughs> kind of like our government. Yeah. <laughs> it's imaginary money, right? It's imaginary money. <laughs> so you get those imaginary margin calls. Mary, right? Mary, that's what it's like. <laughs> imaginary margin calls could be ugly. I suppose. Oh, uh, so speaking of books, I found one book I probably already know. They call the name is the Option Trade Handbook. It's by Philip Baldwin. And the thing is that they one of the very few books that call adjusting the trade. Like suppose uh, you put a call and they reverse and you are losing on your call. What you just buy? I mean, you sell a call and just and convert it in a in a, in a beer credit spread. And, and, it, and for me, it's wow. Well, <laughs> And the same thing happened with the put. You are losing your put, you sell another put. And practically, this is is doing buying call or put. Uh, accordingly, they go, the stock goes up by a call, go down by a put, and if he, they miss the duration, they convert it. And I saw this work. And also, they have a lot of strategies how to fix um, any kind of vertical. And I got this, and, and this is kind of edition, uh, so it just can drop. Uh, the author again? It's Philip Badwick, with uh, maybe as as DSM boy U D W I C K. Badwick. Badwick. And they call um, option traded handbook. Uh, handbook, yeah. And there are two editions. You have to buy the second edition because uh, in the second edition they talk about Greeks. Um, the economy? Yeah, yeah, that's the problem with those Greeks. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Kanel. Yeah. Yeah. Where, where did you say you get that? What are you looking for? Well, well, the 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 oh, handbook. Handbook. oh, the option traded handbook. handbook. Handbook on Options Trading, Option Trader Handbook, this one here, yeah. by George Abor. When you said the second yeah. edition. No, yeah, it's the other guy, Budwick. See Budwick? Yeah. Oh, there he is. Okay, you have, there is two books. You have to buy the one that is yeah, two. Second that's second it. That's it. That's yeah. the last edition when they put it, uh, all the Greeks. In the first edition, there is no Greeks. They left the Greeks out. Yeah. Now, I don't know what is, is $53, I say, like wow. Oh, you probably bought it on Kindle, you said. That's why. Yes, I, yes. Yeah. If you buy it on Kindle, let's see, Kindle is uh, Oh, you got yeah. the electronic version. Right. And uh, there's a Kindle, there is a free Kindle for PC. You just download the software free, so you can read that. And, uh, then the okay. nice thing is after that, you can send the one to your, your friends because you can't put it. See, <laughs> so can you just take our names? <laughs> you can Send put it in the same time. Right? Okay, uh, you know, we were talking about Apple a second ago. I just want to, like, for the new people in the crowd. Like, so, where I was talking about a synthetic collar earlier, um, so this is a, a graph for if you were to buy 100 shares of Apple at the current market price, which is showing up here as 201. Yeah, 20 grand, yeah. Exactly, right? So, the... Yeah, so, so basically, if you were to buy it outright, you're buying it at $200 a share times 100 shares. Right. If you were to buy a synthetic spread, and, and basically, you make a dollar for dollar. So if the stock goes up a dollar, you make a dollar on, on, the, uh, on the trade. And in the case of options, typically an at-the-money option has a 50 delta, which means you make about 50% of the movement of the stock, roughly. But in this uh, synthetic spread, what you're doing is you're buying a call, selling a put, and your margin requirement on that trade is only five thousand uh, dollars, and you've got about a seventy-five cent debit on the trade as well. So you've got a significantly less uh, cost on the trade. So, and you're getting the same return as if you were to buy a hundred shares of the stock. Is this your collar? You call this how you're collaring? This is no. it's a it's a it's a yeah it's a collar. It's a synthetic. It's a it's called a, it's basically a synthetic spread. So it's a synthetic long 
uh, stock trade using options. I probably would have some put protection and then uh, right and then which you okay so in selling so calls the upside so it'd be so it's more opposite more. of what I'm thinking. It'll look more like a spread. Okay. If he adds on to this combo, he'll end up with a if he's if he buys a put and sells a call, let's say buy the one ninety five puts it up on it. Put and sell the two oh five call, then you'll end up with a a, a collar. It'll look like a spread. And then as this plays out, like this combo, right? Okay. You've bought a call and you've sold a put. As the stock goes up, do you get out of one, one part as soon as you start making money? You leave it go. Oh, to the end? Let it ride. Why not? Let it ride. Let, let the short position expire. So, so it yeah, expires it worth. Forms, yeah, it performs yeah. like a stock, basically. Yeah. You've gotten the money in your pocket. Just let it go. Otherwise, every time you give anything back, you're giving it back. Further out, for instance, Apple, since he has it up there, if you did a vertical spread and you have an 85.80 in, you did it when it was 91, you're pretty much worthless. So if you decide to get out, you can get out, but you're going to pay on both sides for to get out. Do you understand that? You're going to pay a fee. Yeah. Slippage. Yeah, it would be slippage. Slippage. Yeah. Hmm. I can see I'm e rich. I met a guy who, uh, another club <laughs> that he only doing um, buying a stock and put the color I mean sell the uh, sell the call and protect with that a cheaper put whatever it is. and he told me that he's making 17 percent a year for the last 10 years so I see well wow, that's a practically very low risk uh, only buy buy some stock and put the color every time they buy Every time I buy a stock, I buy the insurance. So, but in order to pay for the insurance, you sell a, a call. So it's a, like a covered call with an insurance policy. And doing that is a 17% annual for the last 10 years. So it's impressive for me. You can do that with long-term calls. Oh. Hmm. Got a question from online about this trade uh, that your loss is 5092 Actually, your this performs just like the stock trade if you were to buy 100 shares of Apple. So for every dollar Apple goes down, you still lose a dollar per share. So every dollar it goes up, you make a dollar per share. So the 5,092 is just a margin requirement. So the only real major difference between this and actually buying 100 shares of the stock is that you uh, only $5,000 of your capital is, is held up in the trade versus the 20,000 or so if you were to buy 100 shares of stock. Yeah, four to one leverage. Yeah. Yeah. So that's really the only substantial difference. Yeah. And, and someone else uh, said you can do a synthetic short by doing the reverse. So if you want to short the stock, you can do the reverse, basically uh, selling a call, buying a put. 